And moving to the impeachment trial against President Pakana at the Constitutional Court that has been moving slower than many had hoped due to no shows by some key witnesses. The president's lawyers on Tuesday submitted a document listing the whereabouts of Pak in the immediate hours after the Sewanho ferry sank in April 2014. But the court wants more details, saying what they received was insufficient. Yun Shin reports. The Constitutional Court justices told the president's legal team that their documentation of her whereabouts and activities on the day of the Sewolo ferry sinking in April 2014 is not enough and said it wants the extra details ASAP. The court also asked the lawyers to submit phone records of conversations between President Park and security officers who briefed her or received her orders on that day. The document submitted to the court says the president was told about the ferry sinking at 10 a.m. That's roughly an hour after local media first started reporting on the ferry disaster. It also says the president headed to her presidential residence after breakfast because she wasn't feeling well and she had nothing else on her schedule for the day. The president's lawyers also said she was briefed by email and fax or correspondence handed in person every 20 to 30 minutes on the morning of the ferry sinking and issued orders via phone. Looking at the three hearings, it looks like the court is really trying to get to the truth. But the court proceedings may not satisfy the standards of the general public because many of the witnesses have not showed up to testify. Meanwhile, President Park's former senior secretary for policy coordination, An Jongbam, was expected to give testimony as a witness on Tuesday afternoon. But he told the court in the morning that he would not be able to attend saying he had to prepare for his criminal trial, slated to start later this week. The Constitutional Court also rescheduled the court appearances of two key witnesses. Former Presidential Secretary Chung Wo-sung has been called back in to testify on January 19th. President Park's longtime confidant Choi sun shil has been called to testify on Monday. The court added if Che does not appear, it will compel her to do so that afternoon. Yin Shin, Arirang News.